Hi, I'm Randy Robinson, also known as James Robinson's son, and I've got <laughs> Sandra McCollum, also known as Joyce Meyer's daughter. Sandra, how are you doing? <laughs> Good. <laughs> you know how it goes, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> so the PK thing, and you know, I, I think it's true for anyone who has um, parents who are visible, mm -hmm. you know, noted. Yeah. A lot of times <laughs> you're, you're known as Joyce Meyer's daughter. Right. And it's like, forget <laughs> that you have a name and yeah. a husband and a family of your exactly. own. Exactly. <laughs> right. How do you, have you faced that? Yes, I have. What? And I mean, really, I haven't had a lot of rough things and growing up with, you know, as a PK kid, but I can tell when somebody likes me. I can just ex instinctively tell when somebody likes me for me or when they like me for whose daughter I am. And yeah. so that's really just one thing that I have to watch and just, I just try to, What you do know, you do with that? I just see how I feel, you know, right in here, so you know, do you, do you, and I, I don't. Mean, but do you just kind of ignore them? Yes, I don't. I don't judge them or get mad. People right. mean well, you know, but I just don't get close. You know, my closest friends are the ones that just, I know that they love me for just me, you know, Sandra yeah. McCollum. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I get it. Um, is it hard to be, do you think? I get this question all the time. I know how I answer. <laughs> is it hard to be Joyce Meyer's daughter? You know, I haven't really faced that. I get the question sometimes. What's it like to be Joyce Meyer's daughter? And to me, it's just like, she's just my mom, you know? Yeah. I don't see it. We see ourselves, actually, the whole Meyer family, we see ourselves different than other people see us. You know, we see ourselves, we're just normal just people normal and family. just, yeah, exactly. So, and like we were talking earlier and you said you think one of the reasons that I haven't had the issues maybe that some preacher's kids have is because my mom is just, really genuine yeah. you know and she just she tells it all and so she's she is the same behind the scenes as she is is what you see on tv yeah so, and, and which that is, is important i have mm -hmm. known some pks who've had some some rebellion some struggles right. and and, mm -hmm. and and that tends to come up every time you, right. know, you don't know you don't know him yes you know, he's not mm -hmm. the man you think he is right he's not mm -hmm. the person yeah. Yeah. And so hypocrisy and you know and the reality is, is that's true for mm -hmm. anyone in the church you know, right. the the people who go to church and they're all holy and right. a great family and then the rest of the week it's mm -hmm. it's horrible. It's the same kind of issues. Right. What uh, what what have you struggled with? I mean I mean I've got a whole book here on things mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, just along these same lines, I have struggled in the past because I was so legalistic with myself and living under rules and regulations with being a Pharisee and just judging other people. And I was a class A Pharisee. I would sit on the judgment seat and point my finger at others and say, I think they should be this and I think they should do that. And I have found out that is not what changes people. Now, now your mom doesn't teach that. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I, and I, of course, freely talk about this, even in my book, that the, the reason I am, or I was the way I was, was not because of the way I was raised. It was because I just had a legalistic personality and I just, I wanted to please God so much that I just went into that mode of, you know, and I saw God all wrong. I had misconceptions about him. So because I saw him, really that was at the base of it all, is I saw him as like a hard taskmaster that was just waiting and watching to see if I was gonna make a mistake. And so that caused me to go into anxiety mode in the way that I lived my Christian life. A lot of and, people uh, see him that way. Mm -hmm. But then, so then I, would, I was trying so hard to be good that when I was good, quote, I would judge others who I didn't think were good, you know, but that's not what changes people. Now I do see it straight. And of course, I'm, I'm always learning. I'm not perfect. I know that people who act out or act the way they do, you know, in sinful ways, they're just doing that because they don't know how much God loves them. I pray for people all the time. Like I pray for the stars and I pray for, you know, music stars, movie stars, because I really feel feel God's helped me through this experience of my own to see past what people are doing mm. to seeing them as this is a person that Jesus died for and not, the only reason not to excuse it right no no definitely not but the only way they're going to get the help they need I know because it's the only way I got the help I needed is to really get that revelation on how much God loves them and so I, I'm happy to be able to pray for them yeah how mm -hmm. do you now look at those who are where you were in the judgment seat. 
Right. Uh, that's my hardest. Yeah. That's actually my hardest deal. And I have to, you know, ask God to help me. Not, and I have a story in my book about how I was judging and really was mad at a Christian that was talking about a different, another Christian, saying right. something really sure. mean and unkind about them. And I was so mad. And then God reminded me, you know, it wasn't all that long, long ago. That you, you were there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now how, because I know exactly what you're talking about. In fact, I got into this <laughs> recently, yeah. just this week, because someone posted something about Joel Osteen. Yes. Okay, I, now, I and, and I, mm -hmm. I've listened to Joel some, not as much as others. Mm -hmm. I've never read any of his, his books. Right. Um, I, don't have a, I don't have a problem with him. I, I don't know. There's some things I've, I could probably disagree with if we got into it. I think but he's, Yeah, I've listened to him and just love him. You like, know? Okay, so yeah. you, you know more about him than I do. Right. Mm -hmm. But this person was slamming him. Mm-hmm. Right. And that just bothered me. Yeah. You know? It does. And, mm -hmm. and so I said, <laughs> this is on Facebook, and I said, um, when you're done with the judgment throne, mm -hmm. let God back on it, right? Yeah, that yes. Be, that may not have been the best response because <laughs> oh, he just, so he, he lit up, right? Yeah. Very angry, very angry right. at me. But <laughs> how do you deal with someone like that? Right. So you, you have been there. Right. You have been that Pharisee in your own words. Yes. How, how would I have approached you before to maybe knock you off your throne right. in, in a good way, in a yeah. positive way? Right? I think that's a great question. I think what's helped me is realizing how, where I came from and having that right believing going on constantly of, man, if it wasn't for God's grace, I would still be where I was. And so when I see someone else in that or hear of someone else in that state, you know, a pharisaical type of person, right. Right. then God just reminds me, you know, pray for them. They just need to know the truth. They need, they're, they're blinded right now to the truth, just like I was blinded to it. And then, but then when I saw it, when, when I saw how much God loved me and his grace, and I then saw what I was doing and I vacated the throne. Real quick, yeah. <laughs> I, I did. Yeah. And so, um, you know, thank God. I'm just so thankful for him. And I think just keeping that heart of, thank you, God, for what you've done in my life helps me to extend I really am a believer that when we receive God's love and grace for ourselves, we then can extend love and grace to others because we give out what we, you know, have, what we receive. Yeah, no doubt. Mm. Very well stated. Do you have a website that you pitch people to that want I to do. find out more about I you? I do. Or? It's sandramccullum.com. Okay. McCullum is M-C-C-O-L-L-O-M. -L -L a lot right. of people spell that wrong, so. Yeah, we'll get um, it on the screen. Yeah, it's so, sandramccullum.com, yeah, so. Yep. Very good, very good. And uh, I want you to hear more about Sandra and her book called I Tried Until I Almost Died. She talks about that extensively on Life Today. So visit her website and go get more at lifetoday.org. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much. <laughs>